So let's talk about email authentication. Email authentication is basically what it sounds like. Basically telling the server that, yeah, it's you who's actually sending the email. And by doing this, you fight back on spam. Let me give you an example here. If let's say for example, that somebody pretends to be you and they're really not you, but you're, they're using your domain name as a place to spam people. Using the email authentication feature on the cPanel, if you notice if I go to cPanel here and under the mail options, you'll see email authentication. If you click that and you scroll down, you can read a little bit here, but if you scroll down here, you'll notice that there's a thing called SPF. And as you can see here, it says SPF will specify which machines are authorized to send mail from your domain name. This means only mail sent through your server is actually the valid mail from your domain name. And I've had cases where people pretend to be me, but they're really not me and they spam. So it's not an ultimate solution, but if you enable it, you might be able to fight spam further down the road. So all you have to do is click enable click go back and that's it. Now domain keys is a separate different type of thing. Domain keys is an email authentication system that checks any income mail that comes in to your server. So for example, let's say that you're running, you know, your name at yourdomain.com and emails from 123 at 321.com are emailing you. What domain keys would do is it would authenticate to see whether those incoming mails are truly being sent by those servers or those domain names. If they're not, you know, because a lot of people when they spam, they don't send email directly from the server. But you got to remember, you probably don't want to do this just because if you're running a business, then you want to get probably all the emails because some of those emails, legitimate emails can get caught in the email authentication system. And if it's a, you know, actual customer, then you might lose that customer if you know, that spam filter catches them. So I would just stick with something like SPF. I wouldn't actually do a domain keys. It's up to you, but that's just something that you need to think about.